Oh my god, another host migration. Yo, this is ridiculous, man. Hey, could you guys imagine what this game would be like? What the Call of Duty, the modern day Call of Duty franchise would be like without this host migration option feature? I mean, think about how many host migrations are a game. Now, back in the days of Call of Duty 4 and World at War, you didn't see too many host migrations because there weren't any host migrations back then. You didn't need host migrations back then, man. Back in the day, having host was a good thing. It was great. Man, having host was the bomb. You Having host was a good thing. You would be beast. Beast mode when you had host. The powers of host. You guys remember host pro? Yeah. you Host pro, you haven't heard about that in a long time, have you? Host pro was gone bye-bye. <laughs> because the lag compensation. Lag compensation has killed host pro it really has i mean back in the day when you had host it was a great thing now it's just man i quit i rage quit all the time when i have host and i get a bag of dorito chips orbital vsat and i'm not greedy with my dorito chips i like to share my dorito chips with my teammates i mean of all the things in this game to get upset about i'm not going to get upset over my teammates benefiting off my success i don't care dude but then again i'm not a gameplay channel I'm not a gameplay channel. I'm not out here trying to go 165 and 2 or 180 and 0. I'm not I'm not that guy, dude. I'm definitely not that guy. I'm not trying to do that shit. If I was trying to do that shit, I'd probably be in a mental institution. This game's frustrating enough as it is. But you know, whatever. Let's get back on topic. The host migrations in this game. Now we first saw host migration in Modern Warfare 2. Right? Now I can see the thinking behind that. When they were making Modern Warfare 2, they're like, hmm. We got danger close tubes, commando, lots of death streaks. Oh, here we go. Another host migration. <laughs> and the Modern Warfare 2 folk, they're probably sitting back thinking, man, we got tubes, commando, death streaks. Probably going to be a lot of hosts rage quitting. Now, back in Modern Warfare 2, having host was great. The Modern Warfare 2 connection was great. You hear everyone preach this all the time. But the host in Modern Warfare 2 was great. But the problem is, is Modern Warfare 2 is such a fucked up game. I mean, it's just such a crazy bizarre stupid ass game it don't matter if you have host you'll still get beasted it does not matter in modern warfare 2 and here's the thing that pisses me off about modern warfare 2 you could be doing everything right you could be playing perfectly and you still get raped you'll still get owned big time it's just a completely stupid ass game it's fun but it's stupid like i said modern warfare 2 is like that crazy bitch you used to fuck back in high school or in college a lot of fun Crazy, a lot of fun to be with, crazy, but ain't no way in hell you can see yourself in a long-term relationship with the bitch. It's just not happening. Modern Warfare 2 had the potential to be the best Call of Duty ever. Take out Danger Close, take out Commando, get rid of Death Streaks, boom. Boom, it's, it's the best. It's the best in the world. It, it's the best game. No, no game would beat it. I mean, then you go look at Black Ops 1. Having host in Black Ops 1 was good for me. But here's, in Black Ops 1 is where you first started to see all the issues with lag, Real, real bad lag, bullets traveling around walls, you know, and again, Black Ops 1 could have been great too. Nerf Ghost, so you got to be moving all the time, separate Ghost and Blind Eye, and take out Second Chance, and boom, <laughs> you know, add a little bit of splash on a dash of that MW2 hit detection. Black Ops 1 could have been the best game ever. This is what frustrates me about Call of Duty, man, is they come close every single year to having a fantastic game on their hands but they always got to mix in some toxic bullshit that poisons the well that makes the game fucking stupid it happens every year now mw3 and in black ops 2 having host sucks it really does man the the lag compensation is so stupid you get lag comp beyond belief i mean i rage quit all the time on host i think that's why you see so many host migrations now because whatever kind of lag compensation that these guys have switched to that activision is using treyarch whoever look at that, another host migrate dude unbelievable on but i've never seen this many host migrations ever <laughs> but it's a good thing that this features in the game because if it wasn't i mean finishing a game would be pretty rare because having a host having host is a bad thing in modern day call of duties uh, the connection is complete witchcraft in this game but i know one thing having a host in this game sucks at least i know it does for me <laughs> and you, it must for other people too because you see constant host migrations non-stop when you're playing this game again cod 4 world at war and mw2 having host was great but like i said before having host and mw2 it didn't matter noob tube don't give a shit how many bars you got commando lunge don't give a shit how many bars you got 
okay? <laughs> you're gonna get beasted no matter what. So connection, it was good to have if you got into a, a clean lobby in MW2, it was the best. But, of course, finding a clean lobby is like finding a clean hooker in Tijuana. It's just really hard to come by. And yes, I know there's been a lot of information leaked recently about the next Call of Duty game coming out. But fellas, let's be real, man. Do you guys think it's actually going to be a good game? I, is anybody excited? Any long-term Call of Duty vets that still play this game, that watch this channel? Are you guys excited for the next Call of Duty? I mean, probably the kids, you young kids, are probably excited for the next Call, Call of Duty. But you grown men that have been playing this game, grown men like me that have been playing this game for the last couple of years, I'm talking to you guys right now. Are you guys excited for the next Call of Duty? Because I know I'm not. I, I mean, I think it's going to suck, dude. I used to be an optimist about Call of Duty. I used to say, yeah, the next Call of Duty is going to be great, man. They're going to figure it out. They're going to get it right. I'm not an optimist anymore, bro. I'm not an optimist. Now I'm thinking it's going to suck. I'm expecting it to be bad. Prove me wrong. Please, prove me wrong. I'm, I'm dying for you guys to prove me wrong. Come out, make a great game. Finally get it right for once. <laughs> you know, I'm not excited. I know uh, Drifter made a video talking about Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts? Man, we played Call of Duty Ghosts. Black Ops! You guys remember the first Black Ops? That was Call of Duty Ghosts. There was ghost bitches everywhere. That was Call of Duty Ghosts. We already played the game. Oh, but look, man, yeah, it's, we're going to find out probably May 1st about what the next Call of Duty is, whatever they're going to call it. You know, whatever, it is what it is. I'm not excited. I'll play it, but I'm not excited. You know, hopefully it surprises me. And like I said, Black Ops 2 is the last Call of Duty I'm ever going to be excited for. Now I'm just expecting the same old shit, the same old horrible hit detection, the same old bullshit. That's all I'm expecting. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm the one playing. No one's forcing me to play this game, right? And here we go, another host migration. Oh my goodness. All right, now listen, before this video ends, I want to speak briefly about something that happened this morning. One of my uh, colleagues here on YouTube, Woody's Gamer Tag, made a video accusing me of speaking poorly about his uh, special needs son. And all you guys out there that watch this channel, that have watched every single video I've put out, know that that is complete bullshit. I'm not that guy, bro. I don't talk about other people's children, wives. I have some honor. I have some respect. I don't talk about other people's family, especially their children with special needs. I'm not that guy. So, Woody, you owe me an apology, man. I never came out and said anything about your son. I wish you and your family well, dude. I might not agree with the way you run your channel. I might not agree with the way you, some of the things you say and do, but whatever. I'm not your boss. I'm not your dad. I'm not God. I don't give a shit. But I will say this, Woody. You put your family on camera. I don't bring my personal life into this YouTube shit. I keep that stuff separate. You put your family on camera, and you better be able to handle people talking about them. I wasn't talking about your son. I'm not that guy. You got a 1 million sub YouTube channel with a bunch of very young, impressionable minds that tune into you. Man, do some research before you open your mouth and cast accusations at people. It's like a bunch of little rugrats coming over to my channel saying, No, you're talking about Woody's kid! Which is complete and total bullshit. Never happened. I never said a damn thing about your son, Woody, and you know that. You know that. And speaking of bullshit, guys, check this clip out, man. So I jump into this game, in progress, of course. Warthog in the air, Predator missile coming down, whatever. Look at this shit. So I creep up here. I hear Sniper. My teammates yelling Sniper, which I hear nonstop when I'm playing this game. Look at this. I drop shot this dude, drop shot. Oh, ho, ho! Look at this. I drop shot this guy. Well, look at this noob. What does this noob do? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. Like I said, guys, I'm done being excited about Call of Duty. I'm done being excited. I'll still play it. I'll still play it, but I ain't excited about it. There you go. Go drown yourself. I'm done.